Hey, and welcome back to my channel. And I don't know about you, but I love fixing up old Barbies. It's just kind of something I love to do on the side, but I would love to do more in next year. <laughs> Today we're working on Working Out Barbie from 1996. She's actually in really good condition and she was one of the first articulated Barbie dolls of her time, really, pretty much. Pretty much the premise of this doll is you're supposed to work out with her. And she also had these suction cup shoes that would help her stay and do the actions of working out. This Barbie has the superstar mold and she also has really nice hair. I'm surprised it's in pretty good condition. I have been wanting this Barbie for such a long time, so let's restore her back to her glory days and let me roll my intro so we can get started. Are you ready to jingle your bells? By the way, because I have to clean this doll, it is going to be a doll nudity video, so yeah. So Barbie. Huh? I picked this Barbie up a few months ago at a toy store here in Vegas. She was $2 and she came as is. She came only with her little earrings and I am now just noticing she is wonky. Yes, love that. I was actually pretty surprised that her hair was saran. It looked like it was gonna be Kanekalon in the commercial. I'm also happy that her little bang is not in horrible condition either. So what will we need to wash Miss Working Out Barbie? I'm gonna be using my dish soap because this doll is almost 30 years old and I don't know where she's been. So um, yeah, I'm also using a good amount of my nice conditioner. I'm still not out of it, which is a good thing. Some baking soda to further clean her body. A spare toothbrush to scrub every nook and cranny on this doll. A comb to smooth out the hair. A wire brush to get out all the knots because heaven knows she has enough of those. But now that we know all the materials we're gonna use, let's head to the sink. I am going to be using a warm to hot setting on her hair. I am gonna be keeping her earrings in because they are the type that don't come out. So I'm just gonna drench her hair a little bit with some water and that somehow made it feel a lot worse, but it's a good thing washing and conditioning it. Now I did wash her hair twice because again of her age, but also because I just don't want to have any debris that could be possibly left in there. The store I got it in, she was kind of distorted with a bunch of other dolls in a bin and I don't know where they came from. So yeah, we're just going to be careful. I'm also washing her body with the soap at the same time. You know why I waste soap. I then also suds up my toothbrush and go to town scrubbing down Barbie's body and face. This is always kind of fun to do, but also kind of nerve wracking because you never know if you might ship a doll's face off. I mean, it's happened to me before, but like, yeah. And and because this doll has more articulation points, I try to get into every little groove she had just in case anything's been living in her body for a few years. Again, you also got to think that a child probably owned this doll, so you never know what they did with it. After scrubbing the literal <laughs> out of her, this is Barbie. I just rinsed her off thoroughly under my tap, and that is that. Now, I've gone to this toy store several times, and I remember it used to be like really lit back in like 2018. Like, I used to find Monster High stuff there all the time, but now it's kind of dry, just like my thrift store. But now that we've done pretty much the dish soap, it is now time to move on to the baking soda. So I just used this little tin that we never use in my house and I'm just putting a generous amount of baking soda and water until it's kind of a paste. I saw this method on a thousand splendid dolls and I just love watching their videos so go ahead and check them out. I'm just going to be scrubbing Barbie down one more time and the ASMR for this is so good so I'm just going to let you hear it for a little bit. Just like a thousand splendid dolls said it makes the dolls feel just so much cleaner and like brand new so like yeah, this is definitely fun to do when you're like got really old dolls and you want them to feel kind of new rather than battered and bruised from their last owner. But after I was done scrubbing her, it's time to rinse all this off very thoroughly and then we can move on to conditioning. Now using dish soap will dry out the hair so you're going to have to add in the moisture with our conditioner. I used a good amount on Barbie and I just worked it in really well, making sure it got on the ends, particularly because that is where it was very naughty. So now it is time for the brush out and I'm using my wire brush to do so. And of course, we're going to start at the ends and work our ways up. Now I do work in sections typically and I don't know why I wasn't in the beginning. My main goal when it comes to detangling is to not lose as much hair as possible, especially when you consider how much breakage could happen when you are detangling. I just hate flyaways. I know you could just like tame them with hairspray but I just don't want them if I don't have to have them, you know? Why put extra work on myself? Now, working out Barbie had a lot of hair. She even had a middle part, which kind of surprised me. So if I really wanted to, I could have just let her hair stay down and she would look just as cute. But I really loved the high ponytail and I loved how it looked when it was swinging in the commercial. So obviously I had to keep that going. Now, this doll came out like two years before I was even born. I don't know how I found out about this doll, but I just remember wanting her for so many years. And she's actually like really cheap on the resale market because like she's 
she's pretty common, you know? I'd love to know if you grew up with this doll. Let me know all the memories you have with her. But guys, it is now time to rinse out this conditioner. Now rinsing out the conditioner is my favorite part because it just feels so nice and silky in your hands. Now a goal of mine for 2023 is to restore an actual vintage Barbie. So I'm thinking 1959 to 1970. I would love to get one of the original like ponytail dolls. Obviously I can't afford number one, but like one of the other numbers would be really cool to restore on this channel. I think it would be an amazing challenge to just do that. And also it'd be really cool to show my audience what Barbies used to be like. And this is how much hair Barbie lost. After conditioning, we're gonna move on to boiling her hair. This is gonna make it nice and smooth. So I'm just filling up my kettle with some water and letting it boil. So boiling is going to really smooth out the fiber. It's going to make it nice and brushable. And all you got to do is dunk it a few times and brush it at the same time. It definitely looks very painful for a doll, especially because sometimes their head gets into the water. So I just imagine they're in excruciating pain while this is happening, but their hair is going to look amazing after. So like they should really be thanking me. But as I said, you can already see the fiber is already smoothing out. And I'm just going to do this a few more times. After brushing for a little bit, I just poured the boiling water over the hair and it just makes it a little more sleeker. While Barbie is drying, we are going to move on to her outfit. I bought 95% of her outfit on eBay. It came in this really nice bag. The bag was even labeled, which I found really cool. But many of you may not know what this is. This is a cassette and it actually has some music on it for the Working Out Barbie commercial. And I'm never going to be able to play this, obviously, because I don't have like a boom box, but um, very cool, very vintage. Loves it. She came with her little sneakers. She also came with one of her suction cup sneakers, which is a bummer. She also came with one of her dumbbells rather than two. Both of her socks, which look dingy as <laughs> She also came with her headphones and cassette player. She came with her pants, her shirt, and that is it. So she's really only missing her scrunchie, one of her suction cup shoes, and one of her dumbbells. But anyways, it's time to clean them. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of this Pure Castell soap along with some OxyClean. I'm using cold water because I'm not sure if hot water would be good. And I know that the pink clothes did bleed a little bit. Now this did make the clothes feel a lot nicer. I pretty much just let them soak in this for like 30 minutes and everything turned out pretty fine. The socks don't have any pink on them, which kind of surprised me. I think the OxyClean kind of helped with that though. And after 30 minutes of soaking, this is what the water looked like. Color reveal vibes. After rinsing out all the laundry, it's time to wash all the plastic accessories and I'm just using some dish soap and my toothbrush and just scrubbing them down. Then I set on my towel and let both Barbie and her outfit dry for a few hours. I went ahead and gave Barbie back her ponytail. That's pretty easy. I think we all know how to do that. Now let me show you how I'm gonna style it. So I basically want the ends to curl up. So I'm gonna be using these really big boba milkshake straws. I'm also gonna be using a mini straw just for her little bang. Bobby pins to secure the curlers. Scissors in case I need to cut anything. I'm also gonna be using my curl cream. So with that out of the way, let's give her a quick boil dunk. Now that Barbie's hair is all wet, we are going to start rolling. Now, in case you've never done the straw method before, all you need to do is cut the straw in half. Then with one of the pieces, you're gonna cut it straight down the middle. This will go over the normal straw. So I'm adding my curl cream to the ends of Barbie's wet hair. Then I just comb it through the entire ponytail and make it all nice. Now, sometimes I can do it with one straw, but this time I'm gonna use two sections. So I'm placing the straw upwards and wrapping the hair around it and then putting the little cover over it. Then I'm curling upwards around to her shoulders. And then I secure both ends with bobby pins. And now you got a cute little curl. Now let's repeat it on the other side. And after you're done, it should look like this. I also did the same thing to her little bang and now we are going to boil set this. So I just put the water in for like three minutes and that should be enough to make it boil. Now this shot is horrible, but like I'm just dunking her hair into the boiling water and I'm letting it sit in there for a few seconds, 30 seconds tops to be exact. And also don't forget to do the bang. Then afterwards, I just pour more boiling water over the straws and she is good to be set in the fridge for at least 10 minutes and then you're good to let her dry overnight. And this is how she turned out overnight. Her hair is a little crunchy, but I am going to brush it through, but I just wanted to show you in case you liked it this way. Her hair is a hundred times better. I did order a scrunchie from a 2022 Barbie doll that is made of plastic, sadly, that I will be adding to her hair. But I just want to know what your guys' thoughts are on working out Barbie's hair restoration. I think she turned out so cute and her hair is so soft and bouncy now. But guys, that is the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. If this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff duh and i'd love you to join the channel and if you aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok it's at zombie x court as well and guys i will see you in tomorrow's video but till next time bye